By the way, if you don't know my Vibely community yet, you totally should. On the Cat Splendor community on Vibely, you can interact with other people who also love bullet journaling, stationery, and pen palling, and also participate in different challenges related to those topics. We have more than 2,000 members right now, and next week, on October 12th, we are going to launch really exciting things, so if you are not part of this community yet, make sure to click the link in the description box of this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Kat here, and today I have a super special video for you guys because this is probably the biggest stationary haul that I have ever filmed for my channel, and it's from Notebook Therapy. So initially I was going to film this and post these videos on a Bujo vlog, but I thought that these packages and the products in it deserved a full video just dedicated to them. So I never did a stationary haul from Notebook Therapy, I normally just show the things on my videos and on my Bujo vlogs, but I decided that this time maybe I should do an actual video unboxing their stuff. They released a bunch of things and here I'm unboxing two full collections and if you're new to my channel, I'm an affiliate of them so everything that you see here was gifted to me, but this video is not sponsored so I'm going to show you everything that I got and make a small review on the things and mention everything about them in case you want to purchase them. And as usual, if you want to purchase anything on Notebook Therapy's website, you can use my code CATSPLANNER for 10% off at checkout. And by the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because we are hosting a giveaway there, but you have to watch this video to enter and to be subscribed to my channel, so make sure to subscribe, like this video, and check out my Instagram for the giveaway post. So in the first package I got the three notebooks from the Tea Party collection, as well as the two washi tape sets that they released, and the Tsuki Tea Party VIP guest stamp. So starting with that, I was really surprised because the stamp is really really cute. It has Nori drinking bubble tea and having a tea party, it's so so cute. And it's wood and at the back it's like a beige color. The stamp is actually to celebrate their two years of Tsuki, and I just can't believe that the first notebook that I got from them, I got it like two years ago. Like, I'm just realizing this now and it's just crazy how time flies. So now I'm going to unbox the notebooks first and then I will unbox the washi tape sets. And the first one is the Matcha Matcha bullet journal. And I just actually loved this bullet journal. I don't really use green for like stationery and stuff, but this color is really pretty and I like that the matcha in the center is silver and not gold. I actually prefer silver in all of their notebooks because I think it looks more polished than gold, but I admit that in some notebooks gold looks better. But this notebook has a little matcha in the center in silver and the pages on the side are just normal pages. They are not gilded or anything, which I think it matches with the matcha vibe because everything is very minimalistic. Next we have this pink Ichigo Boba bullet journal and it's just so pretty. This color of pink I like and the boba in the middle is gold, but yeah, I think it really matches the whole thing. It has gold gilded pages with a lot of strawberries and sparkles. It's really cute, it's not my vibe, but it's really adorable. It's one of the most adorable notebooks that they ever came out with. It's really sweet. And, and the last notebook is the Cup of Galaxy Holographic Bullet Journal. And when they sent me the videos of the notebooks that we were going to release, I just didn't look at anything else, I just looked at this notebook because the edges of the pages are holographic and I was just so mesmerized by them because they are so pretty and here I included a clip of me showing you the edges of the pages but I literally have like two minutes of me just looking at the pages because they are just so beautiful. These little details are the things that I love the most about their notebooks because even though the page edges are reflecting the whole rainbow, they are still minimal details and with the cover being a linen cover and being a darker color, I think it matches the whole thing. So I really like this notebook because of the gilded pages. By the way, these are the paper clips that come inside the notebooks. This cute leaf one is from the Matcha, this pink one is from the Ichigo notebook, and the little tea bag with the moon is of the Cup of Galaxy notebook. And I just love that their paper clips match with the notebooks. It's just a cute little gift in each notebook. 
it's adorable. Now I'm moving on to the washi tape sets, and the first set that I'm unboxing is actually the one from Maple Dreams collection. And in this washi tape set, you get two free sticker sheets that match with the whole theme, which I think that's adorable. And you have 10 washi tapes, one of them being the stamp washi tape with a bunch of mushrooms and leaves. And it's really cute, it really looks like vintage stamps with mushrooms and brown tones. It's really adorable. And you have five washi tapes that are just normal washi tapes, one with little leaves that are like a sticker washi tape. It's, it's really cute for autumn. And you have three washi tapes with pet foil, which are these transparent ones. I unboxed the first ones that they came out with on my August Plan With Me video. If you missed that, I'm going to link it in the description. But these washi tapes are amazing because when you put them on your notebook, you can't really see that it's a tape. It just looks like that it's like a sticker. And I played with that a lot on my August Plan With Me video and it's just, just so fun. And these ones are just amazing. I did swatches of these washi tapes that I'm going to post on my Instagram probably after this video goes live, but yeah, these ones are just super cute. The next set is the Cup of Galaxy washi tape set, and when I saw this set for the first time, I was like, okay, they went really hard on the blue, because every washi tape in this set is blue, and in this one you have a huge, large washi tape that it looks like it has waves, and I actually used that washi tape to cover a whole envelope to do an ocean theme with their ocean theme collection, and it's just really fun to mix up collections and do um, different pen pal themes with them. The only thing that I'm not a huge fan of is that it's too much of dark blue for me. Um, their stamps are just really dark, and you don't have a lot of colors to play with, if that makes sense. The, the whole set makes sense, but if you want to make a theme with them, it's kind of hard to mix and match the washi tapes because they have the same color, pretty much. And I love blue, blue is my favorite color, but, you know, I think this set is a bit too heavy on the color scheme, if that makes sense. And the final set for this portion of the video is the Matcha Ichigo washi tape set. And I actually did a pen pal with me video for Perlita using this set plus the stickers that it comes with. And it was really fun to play around with the pink and the greens. And this is what I mentioned about mixing and matching different colors on a washi tape set. The Cup of Galaxy set is just too much blue. And even though it has dark blue and light blue, it's too much of dark blue in my opinion, and in this set for the Matcha Ichigo you have some washi tapes that have green and pink, others that are just green, others that have green and brown, two of them are just pink, but they mix and match and they are not too much of one color, if that makes sense. And here you have the same washi tapes as the Cup of Galaxy one, you have one with circle stickers, you have a stamp one and you have a larger one and one that it's slim, and four that are normal washi tapes. But this set is really fun, and if you haven't watched that pen pal with me video that I did, I'm going to link it in the description. So that is everything that I got on the first package with the Tea Party collection, and now I'm just going to open the second and third package with the rest of the Maple Dreams one. Alright, so the next package that I got is a bunch of notebooks and tote bags from the Maple Dreams collection. And I just opened the package and there were like 8 notebooks in there and I was like, how many notebooks are they releasing for this collection? But uh, yeah, I was really confused about the number of notebooks until I started unboxing them. So first we have this ring-bounded notebook, and I actually love these notebooks as I've mentioned before in my pen pal with me videos, because I like that these notebooks you can just rip out the pages and it's a page from their bullet journal, so you don't actually have to ruin your bullet journal to take off the pages. You can just buy these notebooks and you have their bullet journal pages on the go, basically. And this one I just thought that the edges of the pages were brown, but then I opened it and it was an actual craft notebook and I was quite shocked because I didn't think they were going to come out with this. But I opened it and the craft was amazing because it has that texture of craft paper, it's not like white dotted paper colored brown or something, it's literally like craft paper with dots. It smells amazing and it comes with this sticker sheet with a bunch of stamps and mushrooms and leaves. 
it's just super cute and it goes well with the vibe of the collection so I was really happy that they released a ring bounded notebook with craft paper. Okay, so I started opening the notebooks and the first one is the Nara one and I was kind of confused because I was like, they already released this notebook, why are they releasing it again? But yeah, it makes sense to be included in a collection instead of just like a normal single notebook and I was really happy to receive it again. So yeah, this has a linen cover and if you are a fan of notebook therapy, you already know this notebook because they released it months ago, but yeah, I'm happy that it's now in a collection. So then I unboxed another box of a notebook and it was the narrow one again and I was starting to get confused. But then I opened the notebook and it was a craft bullet journal and I was like, oh my god, that's so exciting to have a craft paper bullet journal. And they basically sent me two of each notebook with the same design, but one has dotted white pages and the other has dotted craft pages. and. Oh my god, I was so shocked that they sent me all of this. Both notebooks are the same, just the pages that change. And I actually had an idea for like an album collage or something like that for 2022 for a craft journal. So let me know if you would like to see journal with me videos with a craft notebook from them. The next notebook is the Kitsune one, and these notebooks don't have gilded pages, I believe. Um, only just the last one that I opened, but this one is the Kitsune one, and it's orange, like a pumpkin orange, but it has a little fox in the front. But it's so adorable. I love the color of the notebook. It's a vibrant orange, but it's like that autumn-y orange, so it's really pretty. And the paperclip is also amazing, and the one from the Naruto Bullet Journal is just a reindeer it's adorable. And if you're wondering about what size of notebooks I got, I got all of these notebooks in the A5 size, but they also have the original size, which is a bit smaller than the A5 and the B5 one, which is huge. But I like my notebooks in an A5 just because it's handy and the original size is very small for me. I tried it as my first um, bullet journal from them and I prefer the A5 size. The next notebook in this collection is the Kinoko one and the burgundy color of this cover is just beautiful for fall, for Christmas, for any time of the year. I really like this color for bullet journal and they have this cute mushrooms on the front with the gold foil and it's just adorable and yeah, the paper clip is also a mushroom. It's just so cute and one thing that I like about this collection is that the colors of the notebooks match well with the craft paper on the edges as you can see on screen because some colors don't really match with this color of brown but i'm really happy that these colors for the notebooks match with the paper on the edges and the last notebook for this collection is the midnight garden one in this very pretty green color and i like that they included a notebook that it's just not orange or burgundy or brown it's like more on the gold tones but it still matches the autumn vibe of the collection and this notebook has gold gilded edges and the paper clip is also gold it's a cute little leaf and this notebook doesn't come with an option for craft paper and it's the only one but the white paper one is also pretty nice Next we have the tote bags and I really like that they made tote bags to match with some of the notebooks. So we have this pink one that matches with the Ichigo Boba bullet journal and it's just so cute to match tote bags with notebooks. It's really adorable. And I also like that these tote bags are really high quality. They are this beige color, like cream color that goes well with everything. And they have a pocket inside. So I really like these ones. And then I got the match one, which is also really pretty. I actually gifted it to my mom because she really loved the green color on it. And their tote bags are pretty minimal as you can see, but I just I don't know, maybe they could have come out with other colors of tote bags instead of just being a cream tote bag with the designs of the notebooks. Maybe just spice it up a little bit and have other color options, but for tote bags they are really pretty. And that's everything for the tea party collection, now let's move on to the second half of the Maple Dreams one.
So along with the washi tapes and the notebooks from the Maple Dreams collection, this time they also released some paper, which is really exciting because vintage paper and handmade paper goes really well with the craft notebooks and the whole collection. So I was really excited to see what these papers were about. And this first set is a petal paper pack, which means that is handmade paper with a bunch of petals or flowers or leaves in it. And let me tell you that this is a bunch of paper, but they are quite thick. So I don't really know how they look in the middle of your bullet journal or if you use them for collages, but these are super pretty. They are all random, I believe, and the perfume on them, like the smell, it's beautiful. It literally smells like a garden. It smells really good and you can tell that the leaves are not false or that it's just like false handmade paper, if that makes sense. Like you can really tell that it's a real thing. and. Yeah, I used handmade paper before because my friend Daniel makes handmade paper sometimes, but I've never used um, handmade paper with petals or leaves in it, so I'm really excited to try this out and see what I can create with them. But the texture is amazing and I don't really know how they did it, but it's a great product right here. And I love that you have almost like two papers of each petals and the last one is this gold one with some printed flowers, I'm not sure, but this one is really pretty and it's more on the minimal side, but I really enjoy all of them and it's a product that I've never seen it coming and it's amazing, I'm really surprised with the quality. The other paper set is a scrapbooking paper pack with mixed papers and I actually have a set of mixed vintage papers from Paper World, but this one is way better and a bit different and I just want to say that the packaging of these is just plastic free and it's just amazing and it's a little bit more minimalistic than what they normally have, but I really like the packaging of this kind of like parchment paper. It's really settling with the whole collection. Everything has to do with everything, if that makes sense. And I noticed that you have a sticker pack when you buy the packs and I didn't see the sticker pack listed anywhere on their website. So I asked them like, where is it? And they said that it was a gift when you buy the paper packs. And I was like, a gift? Like a huge set of stickers, a gift? I was really surprised, but I will unbox the stickers later. But this set is mostly like mixed papers and some of them don't have any texture, others are more um, rough, if that makes sense, like they are not that smooth. But you have a bunch of colors, you have brown, you have beige, you have yellow, and a lot of them have gold and silver dots on them. And I love using these on my pen pal letters. And what I also like with these is that some of them are thicker than the others and others are kind of translucent, but all of them go well together and they are just great. They are vintage paper and they are amazing. So yeah, I really like all of the textures and you can play a lot with them and do a bunch of things with them. And this last one, it's kind of the weirder one, but it's also pretty nice. Now for the sticker set, you actually have 80 stickers in total. So 40 designs are mushrooms and the other 40 are leaves, but you have like two of each design. So I hope that makes sense, but the stickers are just <laughs> amazing. I was so surprised with the quality because they are transparent, but you can tell that these are not like printed images. It looks like someone painted them and made stickers out of them. And the bag that it comes with is a glassine bag. It's not parchment paper, <laughs> it's a glassine bag. So everything in this collection is five stars. And this sticker set, I was just really surprised because I never thought that they would come out with stickers like these. They normally just came out with sticker sheets for their products. The stickers are just five stars. I'm very, very impressed with the stickers. I wasn't really expecting this. Next we have the bullet journal stamps and I was really surprised with the quality of the box because normally their boxes are white, just like the stencils that you see in the background. But this one is more of like a cardboard box. It's more like crafty. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really nice and it matches well with the stamps. And these are more decorative stamps for your bullet journal to use on spreads and everything. And you can paint them if you want. And they are really cute. And one thing that I noticed in the box is that the stamps are higher than the actual height of the box. So they are really easy to take out because if you watched my bullet journal alphabet stamps from them, 
um, the box it's at the same height as the stamp so it's kind of hard to take only one and this box is smaller than the stamp so it's really easy to take them out and I really like all the designs and the little designs of the stamps they're really cute so now we have their bullet journal stencils and I actually have one of their sets from the previous stencils that they released in purple and I did a review on them on my channel so if you don't know anything about these stencils and you want more information on that I'm going to link the video of my review down below in the description but basically you have six different stencils and these are perfect to use in your bullet journal if you don't really know how to draw shapes. I love these stencils because some of them are really interactive for your themes, others are more related to bullet journal tracking spreads if that makes sense like some of them have the task symbols others have the water intake symbols all of that but they are really useful and I love having them and sometimes I use them but you know they are stencils so they are not super important in your collection but I really like these ones and to match with the Maple Dreams collection these ones are this light orange and last but not least we have their vintage Kinoko tote bag and this is the prettiest tote bag ever because it's brown, it's a little bit of orange, it has a bunch of mushrooms and leaves and it's really vintage and really really cute so I really like this tote bag and it's my favorite from all of them that they have released and yeah it's just the same as the other tote bags but the designs in the front are mesmerizing they are so beautiful I really like what they did for this tote bag and it's quite different from the one of the tea party but I just love this tote bag so much and it has the same pockets and it's just the same as the other ones but this one is way prettier and that is everything for this huge haul from Notebook Therapy. I'm extremely grateful as always for everything that they sent me. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. Everything is going to be in the description down below linked and if I ever did a review on their notebooks or stamps or stencils, I'm going to link that in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to use code CATSPLANNER at checkout at Notebook Therapy. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!